All right, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the ICT order block mean threshold and the ICT order block mean threshold inverted. Um, I'm not going to discuss too long uh, in this video how to identify an ICT order block. Um, there's a couple different ways to identify it. Uh, but needless to say, what an, what an order block is, guys, is it's an algorithmic turning point. It is an opposite colored candle that should be uh, traded through and it should be paired with an inefficiency where the market has displaced. Um, it's oftentimes going to be found right at the start of a leg, and that's called a market structure shift. So, for example, this green candle here, that one, became an order block as soon as this black candle, which created an inefficiency, traded below the open, not the low, but traded below the open of that green candle. That became a bearish order block in that case. An order block may be a single candle, it may be a whole series of candles, um, and and sometimes, you know, in, when identifying an order block, you're, you're going to identify things that aren't really an order block as an order block, and, and that's fine. In this video, I want to discuss the order block mean threshold. So the order block mean threshold is an algorithmic pivot point that really um, should always be on your mind and there's two ways to use the order block mean threshold and that is as a confirmation for other ideas and as an inversion so let me see if I can find some good examples of an order block mean threshold so okay um, this 10 minute candle here or on the 10 minute chart became an order block as soon as this green impulse candle that created a buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency traded above the open of that candle. That's when it became an order block. The mean threshold is simply the 50% or the midway point of the order block. Okay, so do you see how uh, I'm just using a 50% retracement tool? Well, that is 15,556 spot 50 was the mean threshold of this 10 minute candle, the midway point of that 10 minute candle. And you can see that price referenced that as a signature uh, to use again. So the, the, the mean threshold of an order block is an algorithmic signature, okay? And it's something that you need to notice. So let's see if I can find some other examples that are nice and clear. Let's go on a 15 minute chart. Okay, there was an order block mean threshold right there. You can see that price did not quite get to it. Order block mean threshold, these two black candles, when price traded above the open of the first black candle right there, it became an order block. And do you see how the price referenced that again? Okay, so the order block mean threshold is essentially an algorithmic signature where you would expect price to have some sort of a reaction. Um, and it it's, can be used along with fair value gaps and Um, you use it with like fair value gaps or whatever. So, show you an example of another uh, order block mean threshold. These two black candles um, right there. You see how price referenced that twice. Now, when price references an order block twice or more, it becomes a reclaimed order block. You see that? That's a bullish order block, these two black candles. So, the first time it trades into it, it's an order block uh, finding it as support. And then the second time, it's reclaimed. Now, again, you can just use this along with your other ICT concepts to confirm uh, an algorithmic pivot point where price is likely to turn or a reasonable place for price to turn. Um, guys, and with the order block mean threshold topic, which is what I've been, I mean, been meaning to talk about it for some time now, um, remember that all of ICT's concepts can invert. So what do I mean by that? Well, they can all be used on the way up and on the way down. So for example, let's see if we can find a good example of it. I want to take your attention to that black candle right there, which is a five minute order block. How do I know that that's an order block? It's an opposite colored candle in a move higher in which the price created a fair value gap, a buy set imbalance, sell set inefficiency paired with the black candle. So I know that that black candle is an ICT order block. Now, 
let's take the mean threshold of that ICT bullish order block. Do you notice how price does not initially find support in it? In fact, it trades through it. But right there, you see that? So this is an example of a SIBI and ICT inverted order block. See that? So you could either, let's say that you wanted to use that 15,607 and you were going to aim for that sell side liquidity. You have two entry points here, right? You've got the sell side imbalance, buy side and efficiency here, but notice also it's an inverted order block. Does that make sense? So guys, these order blocks, uh, order block mean thresholds, if price trades through them, they can invert in the same way that anything else can invert. And this will allow you to sometimes see candles and, and pivot points that other people would never spot, guys. So, okay, in this video, I didn't really teach you how to identify an order block. I kind of went over the basics, but I'm really just talking about the order block mean threshold, how that is an algorithmic turning point, pivot point, and how you can also invert the order block mean threshold. Okay, guys, so in this video, we discussed the ICT order block mean threshold. I will have more videos on the order block mean threshold, guys, and you will see more examples of it. But just remember that it's an algorithmic uh, turning point and it can invert, okay? So you can, you can use it to support, let's say, a fair value gap concept. Notice that that candle was an inverted order block as well. And guys, I'm telling you, you're going to find some candles that price is turning on that if you know that order blocks can invert and you're looking for that, you're going to find candles that are turning price that nobody else is going to find, guys. It's a real advantage. So, okay, in this video, we discuss the ICT order block mean threshold, an algorithmic signature, um, an algorithmic turning point that price will reference uh, either on a straightforward basis or as an inverted reference if price trades through it. Bye-bye.